The history of 3-2 Battalion is a fascinating one of FNLA combatants fleeing the Angolan War of Independence and finally being melded into a cohesive military force by Colonel Jan Breidenbach in 1975. Known to their South African Defence Force counterpart as the Buffalo Soldier or referred to by the terrified enemies as the terrible ones based on their prowess and skills in battle, the group was initially formed as Bravo Group but was rapidly renamed 3-2 Battalion and was finally expanded to include seven infantry companies, an anti-tank section, a mortar platoon, a machine gun platoon, as well as an active racky wing. The battalion was mainly deployed in southern Angola, where it served as a buffer between the South African Defence Force and its socialist enemies. It consisted mainly of Angolan nationalists, which qualifies it as one of the first truly multicultural divisions within the South African Defence Force. Many books are written on the battalion, but none as profound as that of Buffalo Soldier or the book Forged in Battle, both written by Colonel Jan Breitenbach himself. Although known as the Terrible Ones, their compassion towards the local population, as well as their camaraderie in battle, belied their name and proved them as one of the most capable soldiers of the Bush War period. Although affording their enemy no quarter, they became one of the most decorated battalions within the Bush War, with 13 Honduras crooks to their name, making them the second most decorated battalion within the South African Bush War, with many battle credits to their name, including the Battle of Quetu Carnaval, they proved to be effective soldiers, earning the gratitude of the South African Defence Force.